Well, that's right. The mayor spoke to the NAACP here tonight, and one of the topics that he touched on was redevelopment on the city's east side. Now, a recent study by the police department showed that areas of blight see higher crime, but as we found out tonight, blight is also bad for business. The sound of jazz still fills the air at Danny's near 18th and Vine. But the landscape is much different than in golden decades past. Unfortunately, it's, it's pretty quiet. At the KC Jazz and Blues Juke House. Hello there. What can I do for you? Business is hitting a low note. It's not very busy. Our business has declined. We used to be open seven days a week. Now they're closed two of those days and cutting hours. Venetia says part of the problem is blight. The building across the street, it's abandoned. And instead of cordoning it off, how about we restore it? The district is dotted with broken out windows and boarded up doors. It's been vacant for years now since I've been down here. We have no business over there. Thomas Ramey walks the Jazz District working security. <laughs> seeing untapped potential around him. In order for that to go, you got to have people over here who's willing to come put it, money into the area. But the tune could change with the mayor's new budget allotting $10 million to reduce blight in the city, offering an incentive for developers to buy abandoned properties. A buck is all it's going to cost. And then if you do that, you'll get 8500 bucks back for what the cost of the demolition would have been. Venetia hopes someday it could provide the tune-up this area needs. It's a historical district and we really should have much more here to offer. And at tonight's meeting, the mayor stressed that the city is seeing progress. He handed out these three maps showing the billions of dollars in development on the city's east side since he took office. Reporting live in Kansas City, Missouri, Emily Welsh, KMBC 9 News.